I believed from day one that if we give our best, that we will succeed. A couple of years later, uh, we're still trying. <laughs> You have to be naive to, to actually do this. Like, if, if we knew how difficult it was, how, how many challenges we'd face, we'd give up right then and there. There is this crazy Croatian guy doing that, but we don't believe that he will manage it. Taman, when I came to the meeting for the job, I was going to go before I was going to go to the car. I saw the car and I thought, oh, I'm going to go to the car. Do you need to go to the car or something? I ono, wow, super, ono, stigli smo jednom ono, par dana poslije kao, pa ne, auto je razbijen, ajmo ponovo. <laughs> Whenever Mate came with a new idea, like, especially in the beginning, I was even yelling, it's not possible. Proto phase and stuff, when Mate used to take the cars. Oh yeah. Which weren't ready, <laughs> by far not ready. Mate asked me basically, how old am I? And I said 32, and he said, like, you're really old. The average age of our company is 27. And I was like, I'm not sure that's a good thing. We had basically the idea and the ambition, and we had to reinvent everything. You know, when they say you are a family in a company, it's usually maybe not really the case, but we really were, especially at that time when we were super small, like 10, 15 people in the company. We were day and night together, sometimes not going home for days. Is it like, oh, I'm going to do it electric. Sure, I'm gonna have a beer, thank you. See you later. I didn't think much of it at that point because it sounded not, not only ambitiously, it just sounded like an overshoot, complete overshoot. I was <laughs> there in 2010, to go Njemačka, Bauštela i on je došao na ljeto, družili smo se ono i kaže, e, krećem sa nekom firmom, radit ću neki električni auto. Kad su oni krenuli, iz garaže sam doznao da se nešto događa, da tamo neki materi ima, da se gradi neke super karne i da će biti na struju. There was a lot of young people, very enthusiastic. We, we were not coming to the company to work. It was not work time. It was you would come to the company very early, you would leave extremely late. One moment, I think I was uh, doing 32 hours in a row. When I say today, it sounds crazy. For me, it was fun because it was always another challenge, another challenge, and it was never the same day, it was never boring. So for me, it was super fun. And then the company was in trouble, and I told him, uh, you know, I don't know if the company will make it. You get a for that period, but trenutno ne vidim rješenje, bolje da odeš doma, da ne plaćaš stan, da ti ostane nešto love, pa da možeš ići negdje dalje. I prošlo je mjesec dana, ja došao opet iz Livna u Zagreb da odjavim papire i to sve da riješim i vraćam se doma. Došao u firmu, pozdravljam se, kaže Mate, ovaj, gdje ćeš ti? Rekao, za Livnu. Kažem, aha, šta ti ja nisam rekao? Dobili smo neku lovicu za neki projekt, ovaj, tako da vraćaj se, ostaješ tu. We have it, everything structured from the beginning. We never would have a progress that we had. Our progress through the years was, I would say, one of a kind in, in the automotive industry, where we began from, where we are now. I think it's a, it's a hundred year trip for some normal companies. I walked into Rimac in Sveta Nedelja, kind of expecting to see a garage with a few people with spanners, fixing things, wiring things. And instead, what I found was um, a baby McLaren without the attitude. And so the, the whole idea was already so crazy, but if you want to do it, you can do it. Even if you're standing in front of the, the most powerful people in the industry, and they're telling you you should do something, if, if you believe in something else, and if you believe that's the right way to go, you should, you should pursue that. Like, you shouldn't give up. Like, you, you can't just fold over and say like, uh, well, we'll do the easier way. This is a company that, without knowing it, has intuitively understood how to make great sports cars. Not just the technical part, but the process part as well. Every time I try to do something, I try to do what's not possible today. But like, you make it possible. Like, if this is the level what's possible now, I, I don't want to spend my life working within this area. Because it's like, I mean, you can do fun stuff there, but let, let's say, imagine uh, we just now, for the next 10 years, we take the Nevera and just do different designs on top of it. It's nice, you can make very beautiful cars, but I'm about the substance and about pushing limits. But actually, what Remats is all about is the things that we don't know about yet. 
uh, the things that we're just starting to think about. What will the world be like in 20 years? What do we need to be thinking about now? And how can we have, be as disruptive 20 years from now as we are being today?